So here we go. Be sure to keep on watching and subscribe to this channel if you want to see how to get this amazing look using the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Hi everyone, Rachel here and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Today we are doing a video on the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. Like, I went to Ulta the other day and I literally picked this up along with the, like most of the collection. So if you want to see how this pump performs, how the setting spray performs, and the eye brushes, stay tuned. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of me and um, more of this channel, more videos. Subscribe, honey. Now, oh, I'm sorry guys, like I, I've literally been gone for like so long. And I'm so sorry for that. Um, I was in LA and then I started just college and um, that's why I've been gone for like a month. Um, so please um, bear with me, but I wanna, I don't wanna promise you guys like I'm gonna be more active, but whenever I can film videos and I'm like up to it cause I've been tired from school and stuff, I will do it. So I'm in college right now and working. So I'm probably not gonna produce as many videos as summer. I hope you still wanna stay around and stay on this channel because we have a lot more to do, honey. So I haven't opened it, but I did um swatch some shades in store and literally I am shook it. Oh my gosh, look at the background though. How do we like this background? Comment down below. But anywho, let's get into this palette. This is what the front looks like. You, you probably, uh, all of you have probably seen this by now. And I'm not gonna probably like swatch any if not all shades because there's videos watching but i haven't opened it yet from the one i bought so here we go boom honey we got the morphe and jeffree star palette it is so it is so stunning like look at that honey and i am wearing a jeffree star merch because you know <laughs> so it's very like um it's not like too heavy but it's not too like plastic like it's a good weight oh my god literally holy jesus so oh my god honey so i'm looking at the shades closely oh that is so stunning also there is a message on the back from jeffrey it's very sweet and i won't read it for you guys so if you want the palette you can read it for yourself oh my god literally oh, there's nothing like a new palette so here it is literally oh my gosh so um Let's just talk about the shade names. Of course, everyone has already talked about, like, welcome back to my channel, Wand Noise. Oh my gosh, and there's a little, like, wand emoji thing. Oh my god, this is Jeffree Star, honey. Like, oh, I am shook. Guys, if you go into store, this shade called Millions, oh my god. Hopefully you guys can see Millions. It's that gold shade that everyone has been raving about. It, I haven't tried it on my lids. I haven't tried any of these shades. But holy Jesus, it is, like... The pure, it's so like glittery, like they're so pigmented. It's pigmented glittery and I can't even describe to you. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this palette, guys. It's, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base to prime my eyes. All right, so I put you guys nice and close. You can see my eyes really good. So I'm going to take the P. Louise base and I've been watching this drag queen come more to black or come more black. They are literally, their makeup is stunning. Um, I've been addicted. So they say to slather like eye primer, so... Maybe I'm gonna slather. Boom. Boom, honey. Oh my gosh, guys, like, um, Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot, I fall in love with that too. Let's see if I fall in love back with P. Louise. And then I'm gonna take my sponge. Um, this is the Elsie sponge. I got this sponge at Beautycon and holy Jesus, it's so good. Not only is it really soft, it blends like a dream. This brush set is, um, it has 10 eye brushes in it. Look at this packaging of the bag, like literally it's so stunning. These are the 10 brushes. Look at the handles, like literally the handles are so beautiful. Like they're so pretty. So I'm so excited, here we go. Uh, I'm shook, like look at this small brush right here for like the under eye, like it looks perfect. And this one, oh! Like, they look so fluffy. And these do come in single um, eyeshadow brushes in case you don't want to get the whole whole, the eye, whole eyeshadow case. They do have them at Ulta, like, sold separately. And this is the JS11 brush. Look at that. Feeling it? This one is really dense. I want to set the brow area. Let's see. I'm going to use Lin. I think Kamora used use Lin, too. Oh, my God. The first dip, honey. So, I'm going into Lin. As you can see, there's, like, that powder. Um... A little bit of powder coming out but not too much um let's see oh 
Beatrix. Oh my gosh. So this brush is packing on the shade. I've, my regular brushes I've used before these did not pack as much as this is doing right now. And not only like the shade is pigmented, honey. And it is more like a nude shade. Um, whoa, that is pigment, honey. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Just like applying that so it sets the brow area. They're so reflective too. Like, oh, like, such a stunning palette. Oh my gosh, I love the shape of this though, of this brush right here. It's the Morphe JS8 and it's really fluffy. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited to dip in it because it's fluffy as heck and it's really soft too. Okay, ooh, the pink shade, guys. So I think I'm gonna have mostly pink on the lid. I'm, I'm gonna go into this shade back right here, this pink. This pink shade. Oh my god. And I did not, I just set the brow bone area. I didn't set the um, P. Louise base. Look at that, honey. And it's, this eyeshadow brush is so freaking soft on the eyelid. Like it's probably one of the softest brushes I've ever freaking used. Holy Jesus. Like it is so and this pink though, honey. And this is more of like a lighter shade. It's very pretty. I'm just gonna apply it all over the eyelid. But yeah, same to the other side. Also, these shadows kind of remind me of Jeffree Star shadows, like the Morphe shadows, but like, like it's so freaking smooth. That circle of motions. Like it's blending it really fast. I'm gonna go on this brush. J JS6. It's like a more angled brush. I'm just gonna like fluff it out a little bit. Just angled, like if it's like kind of angled. It looks like it'll get really nice, like wherever you want the colors. So, I'm gonna go in with self made right here, honey. This vibrant pink. This has a lot. Look, oh my god, look at that pigment. Holy god. It looks like also there's a lot of powderiness, but like not too much powderiness, but it just means it's really pigmented. So, I think I am gonna do like a halo eye with the gold in the center. Oh my god, look at that, honey. Look at that pink. Hopefully, you guys can see it on camera, but in person, it's so. Like, this is a vibrant ass pink. Holy Jesus, do you see that? Since we are doing a halo, I'm gonna bring it like that. Use the other side to kind of blend. This brush isn't bad either. It's a little harder to blend, like the colors of the brush, but like, it's not a bad brush. It looks, I mean, it actually is diffusing out the colors. Go back on with this brush to blend the edges. I'm gonna build this shade up really good. It's really freaking bright. Literally, all of these brushes are blending effortlessly. Brushes that I, other brushes that I have from Morphe work, but not this freaking well. No harsh edges, honey. Oh my god. I'm shook. I'm gonna go into Pink Fleet. Really vibrant. Um, like a mix between purple and pink. Okay. And then, I think I'm gonna dip into Mall Girl right here. This deep freaking purple. Ooh. These colors are really rich. Smoothest freaking shadows I've used in a while. Or buttery, I should say, like they're really creamy. 
some people said this um purple shade was um i think it was a purple shade they said it was patchy but i don't think so i wish the purple was a bit more pigmented though do i have, do I have to build it on like the other shades oh i didn't even realize there's this packer brush but then there's an even smaller one i'm gonna use that kind of want to use the gold but i don't know if it'll be like too like wapow so let's just see first i'm gonna go in with this shade next um two and it is really pressed in there so i think it'll be really nice <gasps> i think this is like this and if that they're all the shimmers <gasps> are like glitter holy jesus like it's really pressed in there i think it is like a glitter look at that so maybe i won't go in the gold shade <gasps> oh my god it's like the gold shade but like a pink it's not gold it's pink but I like in terms of pigmented and glitter. Oh, I am gagging right now. This, I didn't even need a primer, uh, like a glitter primer. Look at that. Oh, it is so reflective and pretty. Oh my God, if my kids could see. Probably would be better, well maybe with a, a glitter primer, but like you don't need it. Look at oh, it's so pretty. Like it's really wet too. I'm gonna put the gold. I don't know. Should I put the gold? I'm gonna go into some welcome too. See how that looks. Actually, I'm gonna uh, switch to this brush right here and try welcome on the Brabham. Let's see what this does. Holy Jesus God. Oh, oh. That was way too much. Do you see that? Look at that freaking highlight. Oh my god, these shimmers are all so stunning. Probably went in with a bit too much, but like, oh well. That's amazing. This palette is unlike... It's like different from other ones I've used because they're really like pressed in there. But they really like are really reflective. I do wonder what would happen. I'm gonna try wetting it. And oh yes, honey, I'm gonna wet it with my mist. And I literally got have four of these. I tried it in store, like the smell. Oh, and whoa, the cap is on really good. Unlike the other, well, on the traditional one, it's not that good. But yes, this is the Starberry Morphe Jeffree Star. It says Jeffree Star approved, honey. Yeah, they should make this permanent, honestly, because the cap is way better too. And the scent. Let's see how it does. Oh my god. It smells good in store, but when you actually like smell it in person, it actually smells really good. At first in store, I was like, oh, the scent isn't as strong, but I think when you actually buy the cap, it smells really good. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna tap more into two. How much more it picked up though. Like, look at that. Oh my god. When I do Insta videos, I know, thank god, that like it'll do this. Like, look, it's focusing. It's like those Insta people when they do that. Let's see how it does when it's wet. Oh, you need a wet. They're even better. Look at. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, holy mackerel, mother of God. They're like metal. What you're seeing is like, looks what it likes and looks. I can't even talk. What it looks like in real life. And it's still going. Are we seeing that? <gasps> now that is effing unreal. I am shook. And it's still packing. I'm actually glad I did a halo eye because this is so stunning. It's so wet and reflective. <gasps> oh my Jesus. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. It looks even richer on camera. Holy Jesus. That looks so cool. Go back in with this brush and like mix the two shades so I can blend them. Mix the purple shade and the pink, so. Just gonna kinda lightly blend. I'm shook with this palette already. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I wish this purple was more pigmented. It's um, harder to deepen, but it's 
seems to be deepening though. I'm gonna go in with this uh, Pro Fusion palette, which I, as you can tell, I've been using. I'm gonna go in with Rain just a little bit, just to deepen up the eyes, because I want it to be like deep. Alright guys, so I finished the top eye, so I'm going to do the other eye off camera, and then um, apply some lashes. I kind of want to wear some Mitchell lashes, honestly, but I might go with like Miami's, I don't know. But um, BRB honey. Hi everyone, I'm back! So, as you can see, um, I did the bottom lash line. I'm actually shooting an IG video as well. I think the IG video is going to go out before this video does. But, um, I added, um, what I did is I took, um, basically the smaller brushes, um, the JS13, which actually I didn't show you guys. It's smaller than the, uh, the, the JS12. Basically, I took the smaller brushes, um, these two, um, smaller Jeffree Star brushes, and I used basically all the colors on the lid that we did on the bottom. And then, um, I put the shimmer shade as well in the middle and then, like, blended it all and smoked it out. Um, and then I just added some bra Anastasia brow gel. I hope you guys aren't mad, but, um, but I forgot to, like, come back here. But I, w I was gonna do lashes off camera, but, like, I should show you guys, like, the lashes I'm gonna be using. Today I'm gonna be using the Tati Lashes, um, by Mama Mitchell, the first ones. I do have the second ones, but today I wanna do the first ones. Um, the first time I tried to get them on, it was hard. So let's see if I can do it. But yeah, so I just did, um, back and, uh, self-made pink, I didn't use pink fleet actually, but, um, I used the two lighter ones, um, with this brush and then with the smaller brush, I used a mogul. And I also did add like, some purple and black on the lid a little bit. You can kind of see right there. But let's go on with the lashes. I actually curl my lashes, but I don't have a curler and I'm lazy to get up. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with my mascara. But you should totally curl your lashes beforehand. I might have lost mine. I don't really know. I'm going to go in with a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I go in and go with the lashes. And be careful not to clump them. Jeffree Star has a perfect brush. Um, It's the JS. 14 and it's this eyeliner brush right here um it's really precise so i'm gonna use um this brush like look how thin this line is i'm gonna use this brush and go into the black called um fast lane this is black like back blacker than the jeffrey or the james charles palette tapping it along the lash line really close as you can see i don't want to use eyeliner i'm just going to take the spoolie end of it and just brush out the mascara so it's like because the my eyelash is going down and i don't want to add any more mascara time for the lashes wish me luck but oh, they're super freaking fluffy though these are the lashes up close i just recently got this it's the sonia kashik i let um i lash tweezer or eyelash tweezer um applicator it's so good i'm applying the lashes i met mitchell guys the creator of these lashes literally he's so amazing Oh, oh my god, look at look at that, honey. This is a freaking lash. I'm gonna make sure it stays on. Okay. Oh my literal god. I actually have them on. Like so good. Normally my lashes, I can't get them on this good. I'm shook. Do we all see that? Hi, how are you? Do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. Bitch, I'm feeling myself. Holy goodness. Everyone, this is the completed look using the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. Wow. So, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So, everyone, I this palette is so beautiful. It is so pigmented. Of the shades I've tried, they're so easy to work with and to blend. And like, look, like it's so blended and like easy. And like, especially the shimmers. If you want shimmers that pop, get this palette. I can't wait. Um, let me guys know if you guys want to see more, like into the greens, into the more fun colors as well. Not the pink isn't fun, like no, just more fun colors too. 
everyone let me know what you want um i'm literally shook like um we used all of like these lighter pinkish colors um i know everyone has been talking about this palette and i think if you love jeffree star if you love morphe um and you want your eyeshadows to be pigmented and look stunning get these get this palette it is literally it's retails as 35 dollars, so it's not that bad um and i definitely oh the eye brushes oh my gosh i wouldn't have gotten this look if it weren't for the eye brushes um the morphe and jeffree star eye brushes if you need new brushes in your collection if you want um variety these brushes are perfect especially for beginners too it's gonna set you up for any look you want to do and it's the like especially the small brushes they're so precise um and let's see oh and just last but certainly not least the starberry scent or the starberry mist oh my god they better morphe i don't know if morphe's ever like they're probably never gonna watch my video but they need to make this permanent it doesn't feel like um the regular setting spray the regular setting spray it locks in good and it does it what what it's supposed to do but i feel like it's heavier on the skin this is way lighter on the skin you can't even tell you're putting setting spray on the more if you want it like you kind of going to tell you put setting spray on your face this is so lightweight it smells amazing it's so sweet like um and like everything about it everything about this collection is just amazing like jeffree star like pink it's so iconic i can't even describe so whatever you guys decide to pick up if you choose to get this collection any of anything you get is amazing from jeffree star from his cosmetics to morphe so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i love these lashes by the way um they're mm mitchell tati lashes i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um and um I'm planning on posting my IG uh, tutorial of this look first, so go check that out. And if you haven't seen it yet after this video goes up, go check it out, honey. Like, oh yeah, a bitch is looking flawless, honey. So yeah, um, let me guys know what you guys want to see. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this, more of me. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.